we can explain the difference between a tantrum and a meltdown thinking about Dr. Dan Siegel's hand model of the brain. So if we think about a tantrum where a child is perhaps demanding something or whining or repeating something over and over again, we know that for older children they can be throwing what known as, as an upstairs brain tantrum and this is where the thinking part of the brain is still integrated with the emotional part of the brain and they are just acting out in a way to have maybe what they want. We know this is usually an upstairs brain tantrum because if we give them what they want that behaviour stops quite quickly. Now for younger children, particularly very young children, they're not really capable of throwing these types of tantrums or upstairs brain tantrums because we know their brain isn't well developed enough to be able to do that. With younger children what they're usually having is what we call a downstairs brain tantrum or a meltdown where the thinking part of the brain has disconnected from the emotional brain so they have flipped their lids and they are very overwhelmed by these big feelings so they're in something that we sometimes call as emotional flood. Um, and I think, again, part of our role is to help calm them, bring them back to a state of calm before we can actually respond to that behaviour. Mm -hmm.